whether you're just getting started on WordPress or have been building on WordPress for a while now, I want to show you how you can use Thrive Architect to create a little bit of more advanced web design layouts for your pages. We're going to be analyzing a couple of different sections that I really like from one of our templates that is included for free when you sign up for your Thrive Architect license. Let's jump in. Before we start, if you still don't have a license for Thrive Architect, which is the page builder that we're going to be using to build out these sections, you can grab one at the best possible price by clicking the link in the description box below. All right, meet the first section that we're going to be looking at. This template is from one of our fancy divider templates that you can find inside the bonus section of Thrive Architect's landing page templates. And what I really like about this one is that it uses different layers and it puts them on top of each other. And even though there's a lot happening on screen, like you have text on the left-hand column and two images and a fancy divider in the right-hand side of the screen, it's still super clean. I don't feel overwhelmed and it does a good job of asking users to take action. So how do we go about building this from scratch? Let's map out this section really quick because at first glance, it may be a little bit tricky figuring out where to start. So here's what our brilliant, smart and sneaky designers did. They have a background section with a bottom decoration applied to that very same background section. And that decoration, what's going to give us is this triangle shape in the background. We simply have to give it around 1300 to 1400 pixels of height, and we are good to go. We then have a two column layout with the left hand column being your regular text and opt-in form. And on the right hand column, we're doing something, something a little bit sneaky. You see, you can't put an image on top of an image without messing with a lot of margins that would make your hero section very hard to make responsive. So the way we achieve this image on top of image effect is by having the first image be a content box and assigning it a background image. And since we can put images inside content boxes, all we need is to insert another image inside our content box. Now let's talk about how to move the image so that it appears to be hanging off of our parent content box. Most new WordPress users would probably simply mess with margins, right? They would probably give this a left negative margin and a top negative margin until they're more or less happy with the position of the image. Look, it's not that you can't do this. I mean, you can, but I am responsible for teaching you best practices and this is just not the best way of doing it. Messing with a lot of negative margins on the X and Y axis oftentimes leads to major headaches when it comes to uh, making sure that your sections are responsive and the actual code of your site won't be as clean as it could be. Instead of messing with margins, we're going to set the positioning of our image to relative. As a rule of thumb, I try to use relative positioning if I'm going to be moving elements across the X and Y axis. Relative positioning in CSS means that the elements that we're moving in our case, an image is going to be shifted relative to its normal position. So with that in mind, if we are dropping an image inside a content box and the normal position for an image inside a content box is to be left aligned to the top, what we're doing is shifting the position of our image relative to that original position. And this is important because by using relative positioning, instead of just randomly assigning it negative margins, to move it around our page, we're creating a relationship between the element that we're moving, in our case, an image, and its parent container, which is the content box where we've placed the image inside. This is CSS that we're learning here without actually writing any CSS. If there's something that isn't clear, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Let's take a look at another section from this template. If we scroll down, we get to this really cool two column section. And to be honest, there's nothing super difficult about this section, but I did want to map this one out with Thrive Architect because there's an opportunity here for us to learn about absolute positioning. First things first, let's drop in a two column layout to split up our content into two sections. On the left hand side, we're going to insert another two sets of two column layouts. And the image on the right hand column is going to get say, about 240 to 250 pixels of negative bottom margin. Since I'm only moving the image along the Y axis, there's no need to use relative positioning for this one. I could if I wanted to, but margin should do just fine in this case. Then we simply drag another image into the left hand column of our second set of two columns. 
and here is where the fun begins. This oval shape that has dashed borders and then solid borders and then this little circle at the end seems like an image at first, but it isn't. This is a content box fully customized with Thrive Architect. Now, how on earth do we do this? I guess it's just best if you simply watch me do it. First, we insert a content box and we want to give this content box a fixed width of about 200 pixels and a fixed height of about 18 pixels. Then it's just a question of customizing each of the different borders for our content box. So for the top border, we'll have it be dashed. Our left and bottom borders can be solid and we won't have a right border. This is cool, we're almost there, but we're still missing the little circle that makes the content box have this feeling of being a road with a destination point. And to accomplish this, we need to understand absolute positioning. You see this circle that you're seeing is actually an icon. It's an icon that we can put inside our content box and with absolute positioning, we can have it sit at either one of its corners. And so by having it sit at the bottom right corner for this particular case, it just happens to blend in really well with the end of our bottom border. Absolute positioning in a similar way to relative positioning allows us to create relationships between a child element and its parent container. In this case, our child element would be the icon because it sits inside the content box, which would be its parent container. Now we will need another one of these, but first let's get the right hand column in order. We're going to drop in two columns, one for our heading and the other one for our second good looking content box. And then we just need some text underneath these columns. So in order to save ourselves some time, let's just duplicate the content box that we created in the left hand column, move it over to the right hand column and work from here. We need to adjust the borders. For this content box, we need the left hand border to be empty and the right hand border to be solid. And then we need to change the absolute positioning of the icon to stick to the left bottom corner. And well, there you go. This is how you build what at first might appear to be a complicated section to design, but when you break it down into smaller pieces, it really does start to make a whole lot of sense. In this video, we've done pretty advanced and complicated stuff. This is the closest we've gotten to understanding CSS and writing CSS without actually writing CSS because we're fortunate enough to be able to use Thrive Architect. But I'm still aware that many of you may have some questions, so please be sure to drop them down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you've gotten this far and don't have any questions, good work because absolute positioning, relative positioning, child elements, parent containers, I mean, it's something. Again, if you haven't signed up for Thrive Architect yet, I would truly encourage you to visit our website. There's a link in the description box that you can click on. You've already seen the type of advanced layouts that you can build with Thrive Architect. And if you don't like doing any of these nitty gritty design works, I have some good news too. This template and hundreds of other ones are available for free when you sign up for Thrive Architect. I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.